and Zoo, thank you so much for joining us again today. My name is Kelly and I'm from the Discovery and Learning team. We've come to visit our beautiful sea lions here at Sea Lion Cove. We've got seven of them in the water there, making lots of noise for us, lots of calls. And they're related to something that we're going to talk about today. So our way of life has changed a lot recently. We've had to adapt or change our behaviours to keep everyone safe. In Ireland and the broader world, we're working all together. These guys just behind me live in a group or a colony and they work together as well to keep each other safe. They have adaptations. Animal adaptations are things or features that help an animal survive in their environment. They can be physical, like the way they look, or they can be behavioral, like the way they act or do things. So we're gonna look at some of their adaptations a little bit closer. We're very, very lucky. We've got several of our Californian sea lions joining us today. They're very, very curious about us. They love to meet lots of visitors. We don't have visitors at the moment, so they're very happy to see us here too. So this is Nico, our male Californian sea lion. We just have one male and we've got six other sea lions. So there's three adult females and we've also got three playful pups. So these guys are very, very hungry at the moment. Oh, we've just got some food put into them. These are fantastic swimmers. And if you see any smaller ones, you might be catching a glimpse of the three playful pups just born last year. <laughs> so there's Cisco, Callie and Angel. But look how magnificent they are getting their fish. Very excited by feed time here at the zoo. got arms and legs like us but they have got flippers that propel them through the water so so fast to dive in and out and get all that fish or maybe if they're in the wild to escape from a predator like a big shark you'll also notice they're under the water for a long amount of time these guys can hold their breath way longer than any of us at home they can hold for about 10 minutes before they need to come back up to the surface again if you look at their body really, really close as well, you see it looks really, really smooth. So very smooth body, it's very streamlined and all those adaptations or characteristics really help them to swim super fast through the water like they're doing just now to get all that tasty fish that the keepers have fed them. So we've seen some of their physical adaptations, the way they look to help them survive and thrive in water, but they also have behaviours that they do, the way they act. We heard them calling or barking out to one another because they were so excited by their food. They could also use calls in the wild to warn each other if there's a predator nearby. So there's some of the adaptations our sea lions have, but we do have one more animal to see too. This animal also lives in water. It's a bird that doesn't fly, but it swims. Can you guess who we're gonna go see next? Well done, if you guessed our penguins. So just behind me, we've got some more pumbled penguins coming up to say hello to everyone. <laughs> we got our first little one. If you look around their beak, you'll notice that they've got a lovely pink part that doesn't have any feathers on it at all. And that is to help these guys to cool down. Now that sounds really strange because we often think of penguins coming from really, really cold environments. But this species of penguin, they come from Chile and Peru in the wild. That can be really, really hot. So they need special ways to cool down. So they've got parts around their beak that are pink that don't have any feathers just here. And that's where they can blush and get red and cool off. A bit like if we've done lots of exercise and our faces get red to help us cool off too. Now, if we look closely at this one just here as well, you'll notice that they have a lovely white belly, but a black back. 
that helps them keep really hidden or in disguise or camouflaged when they're in the water. So if there are any predators around, or maybe if they're looking for their own food, when anyone looks up in the water against them and sees the brightness of the light above it, they'll also just see the white of their belly, a bit like this. That will mean that they're nice and camouflaged. But if there's a predator above them, or if they're trying to catch their fish above them, all they'll see is the black of their backs when they look down. So we have seen some amazing adaptations of our two different types or species of animals that we've come to meet today. They have fantastic physical adaptations like their flippers to help propel them through the water, but they also have behavioral adaptations like living in colonies or groups to help protect each other too. Now what we'd love you to do at home is to create some of your own drawings with special adaptations that can be as creative and unusual as you like. So these are some showing cool different adaptations that these animals might have to maybe swim in water, have really good eyesight with their very big eyes, or maybe hear what's going around them with their fantastic big ears. So there's lots of adaptations and superhero animals that you could create at home. So, from our Californian sea lions and from our Humboldt penguins, thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you again tomorrow to visit some more animals and think about some more activities.